Hey guys, so you stopped at this video because you want to understand Amazon ranking? Well, I'm going to give you some information that could help you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It's all about understanding a little bit about Amazon ranking. This is just a tip of the iceberg, give you some information, not to overload you, but to give you just a basic idea about Amazon and their ranking. All right, guys, let's get into the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Channel. So you stop at this video because you want to learn a little bit about selling on Amazon. Amazon's a very complicated animal. It is and it's not. Uh, so basically the main things you need to know about Amazon is basically finding the right product to sell for the right price for the right profit. And that's pretty much the, how that kind of works. But you have to understand ranking. If you don't understand ranking, you might be able to use the Amazon app, but not understand how ranking work. So I'm going to give you a couple of little examples. And we're gonna to talk to you a little bit about ranking and products to find. And you can find products anywhere. I don't care if it's in a yard sale. I don't care if it's at an estate sale. I don't care where it's at. Pretty much ranking is the, really the key understanding on how to sell items on Amazon. So I'm gonna give you a couple of examples here. So today is, <clears throat> this weekend's Black Friday. This will really give you a good idea. So everything that Amazon puts on the front page here are really, everything that's selling quickly, everything that's moving quickly, but your margins are very, very slim. So if you found these items here, you wouldn't be able to make really much money, but it's a good opportunity to learn about ranking, right? So this is what this video is about, to just give you a little idea, give you a heads up. Ranking runs from one to one million, two million, three million, if you sell books, eight million, 10 million. So ranking is all over the place, from one to 10 million, right? So how do you know what's good and what's not good, what category is good and what category is not good? So that's where this is little tutorial is about, just give you just a little bit more information to help you focus in on selling on Amazon. I sell on Amazon for about 10 years and I've done very well. It's, it's a great platform, but if you don't know ranking, understand margins and understand how things work, you can go broke. So be careful. You don't want to overbuy things and over overpay. So let's give you some examples here, just so you know. So here, this is a very popular item. This is that shark vacuum that's real popular now. Right? It's like one of the hottest things right now. So the price of selling on Amazon currently is $319. The list is $5.99, so you can see that. So a lot, when you say Amazon Choice, that necessarily doesn't mean that Amazon is selling it. So when you see Amazon Choice, that means Amazon is recommending them more than other other sellers. So that's really what that Amazon Choice is all about. It's not necessarily uh, merchant, merch by, it's not really like uh, fulfillment by Amazon. It's really just a recommendation. They get a lot of sales. So Amazon kind of push, pushes them up to the top and then it becomes an Amazon Choice type of uh, product uh, and I've had those in the past myself so it's kind of weird how that works but we want to learn about ranking so see you see this in the store okay and you say okay well I can pay for two 199 you get a deal on it or somewhere you got it for like some kind of deal you got it and you can make a little bit of money there's not a lot of margin here but margin versus rank so what does that mean so margin versus rank means if something's really low you don't mind taking less of a margin if it can sell rather quickly right but if you have to sit on something for six months or a year either have to pay nothing for it or be able to really sell it at a good margin. So you got to kind of think about that, how that works, right? So let's give an example here. So this sells for $319.99, okay? And so say you pick this up for $200. Bucks. You get fees involved and so forth. The margin is really, really thin. So when you want to see margin, you just go to the bottom of the screen here, scroll all the way down to the specifics of the item right here, okay? So product information, we, we, this, is, this is where you will see... Uh, ranking so best sellers rank see this so this is number 12 that's really good right in home and kitchen that means approximately and also number two in, in robotic vacuums i would say this probably sells maybe three or four times every hour constantly all day three or four times every hour and this is just my estimate from what i've seen uh, in the past if this ranking was 250 maybe twice a day a thousand maybe once a day it depends on what the product is right because every category has a specific formula for every specific product which is really why it's almost impossible to forecast what your thing will do like i said books have you know you can have a book that's in seven hundred thousand range and you can sell five of those a day hey guys don't forget to like share and subscribe hope you're enjoying the video about learning a little bit about ranking on amazon do appreciate it as always back to the video hey so it really does depend, but this to give you an idea. So uh, ranking is really the rule of thumb as far as you're looking at the margin. So something you pay a little bit of money for. So if I can make $30 in my pocket and sell this quickly within one day, that's pretty good, even though it's a very, very low margin, right? But, but if you have five of those and you can flip five of those within a day or two, 
right? So now you're talking, okay, we had to lay out some cash, right? That's why I explained to you before my other video that you need, you do need money to, you know, to sell on Amazon because things are not cheap is that you need to have capital, but you can turn some money. The problem is the, the ratio can be really off, right? You have to spend like thousands to make hundreds instead of like eBay, you spend hundreds to make thousands. And that's the kind of the, the philosophy behind uh, the eBay and the uh, Amazon model, right? Amazon, you have to spend thousands to make hundreds. eBay, you spend hundreds to make thousands. And that's how that kind of works. That's just my opinion. And then take it for what it's worth. But I'm just going to give you some food for thought as far as ranking is concerned. So that's how ranking works for that specific product. So let's give one more example here. And I don't want to bore you because I just wanted to give you some information, food for thought when it comes to ranking. So lower the ranking, the faster it sells. That's what you have to think about. And then what you pay for it and the margin you're going to make. So that's kind of the formula The formula you really need to think about when you're going to sell something, right? Very, very important. So let's see. Let's pull up another item here. Let's just pull up this blender. Okay, very popular blender. Vitamix, everybody's heard of Vitamix, I'm sure. Again, another Amazon choice on the front page. Of, again, you know it's popular, right? But this is just to give you some food for thought. So $389. These retail for like $350, right? So the odds of you finding them and, re and selling them are highly, highly unlikely, but you never know if you go to a yard sale, right? And you can sell these used. Um, you pick up one in a yard sale, you pick up, even if it's in uh, even new condition, if you pick one up for like $250, and it's like, okay, well, I have, you know, $125 of work worth or $150, whatever it is, $25 to ship it, maybe $30 in fees, whatever, whatever it may be. You have to really calculate everything. But let's go down to the bottom. So, product information, back to that again. So, here we go. Say bestseller rank, so 302, right? That's really good, again. Um, and use the plugins, they have a lot of plugins. I don't know if you use Keeper or anything like that. Use plugins, it'll give you some really good information how things work. Okay, 302 in kitchens, right? Top 100 in home and kitchen. This item's gonna sell quite often. Again, two or three times every hour possibly, right? So that's another um, indication how things work. Again, what you pay, here's this graph here, it gives you an idea, you know, the activity. Uh, and this is a free plugin. Just go to Keepa.com and download the plugin for um, your, your browser. And basically, you can use this graph and you can get an idea what things are selling for. You can get an idea on pricing. Um, just be careful, really understand this before you really know what's, you know, before you just run out with this, with this uh, information. Just know the stats, know the margin, know the ranking. To me, the, to me, as far as I'm concerned, that makes the most sense. So don't forget, learn about margin. The lower the, mar the lower the ranking, the more, the faster it sells, the higher the ranking. So if this was a ranking of, let's say, 700,000, it's not selling. It's like selling once every 10 days, maybe every 12 days, whatever. So it's not selling very often, right? But if it's 300, it's selling three, two, three times, two or three times a day, uh, possibly, even an hour. I don't even know, because like I said, every category is a little different, but just take this food for thought, lower the ranking, the faster it sells, think about the margin, think about what you're laying out for, for money. Um, and that gives you a little bit of information on what you can do with Amazon. You know, download the Amazon app, the seller's app, that's free. Download that um, and just scan things around, get an idea, learn a little bit. It gives you the ranking right there. It gives you the price what they sell for right there. You know, go online, take a look at it. You know, really get familiar with your with that, that structure of uh, ranking, versus pricing versus margin versus sell you know all that kind of there's so much to digest and it takes a long time to learn because i've made plenty of mistakes believe me i've sat on products and, and lost money because i just didn't understand the ranking i didn't understand the margin i didn't understand the formula so that's what i have to give you today okay guys don't want to overload you with too much information don't forget to like share and subscribe i'm going to be doing some more tutorials on amazon as far as selling and learning how to sell on Amazon, just getting some information about that. Um, any questions or comments, leave down below. I will be glad to answer them for you and give you any help that I have to help you succeed on Amazon. So don't be afraid. Ask the questions down down below. You'll see that the down below box there. Just answer, answer, uh, write down the questions you want, and I will get back to you very, very quickly. Again, don't forget to like, share, and please subscribe. And I do appreciate your time as always. You have a great day, and I'll see you at the next review.